Hello and welcome back to the channel, oh Sarah. Reading wise, I'm reading three books, I think. So I'm reading Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. I'm on page 132. So there's 417 pages in this book. And I'm not gonna lie, reading this is so quick and easy to read because the layout, interview style, which is really interesting. It's a mystery thriller. So there's another person missing in Pip's town, Pip's the main character, and she's investigating once again, even though she told herself she wouldn't, but she is. And it's so interesting too, because she has a podcast that's called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And we know that's the name of the first book. Very interesting, I'm enjoying it so far. The next book I'm reading is Credence by Penelope. Douglas. So far I'm on page 10. It's a dark romance. I'm pretty sure like a smutty dark romance. So the main character's parents both died and her uncle calls her up being like, yo, Tiernan, you wanna come to our place? And she's like, sure. <laughs> so she's gone to stay with her uncle and his two sons. And this is where the smutty romance comes into play because pretty sure she gets with the two sons. It's a reverse harem sort of thing, so that means it's one female and multiple males. We'll see how that plays out because I'm pretty sure she's at least third cousins with those guys, and those guys are also brothers, so I don't know how this is going to play out since I didn't enjoy Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. I don't know why I'm reading this, but I'm also listening to Cress. Uh, by Marissa Meyer. It's the third book in the Luna Chronicle series. I've listened to six plus hours of it. The weather has been so lovely. Um, it was so warm yesterday. I was outside. The little cozy chair next to our garden sort of area and I finished Get a Life Chloe Brown. I give it four stars. Um, I really enjoyed the characters. They're really likable. The plot um, was really interesting, but I think there was way too much hype. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting this book to have goddamn actually physical fireworks coming out of it from the hype it got. So that's why I gave it four stars. The expectation was so high. I really want to finish the other two sisters. Even Danny, I really want to read those. Because the next clip you're going to see, I actually filmed it before this clip. So right now, I'm waiting for my PS4 update to happen so I can start doing stuff on the PS4. I'm currently chilling in the attic. I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis or something. I am so bored. It's a Monday. I don't work on Mondays or Tuesdays. So right now, I am downloading a new update for the PS4 and I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna try see if I can put Netflix on it because that would be decent because I want to rewatch. I've been wanting to rewatch Shadow and Bone for so long now but I've been putting it off for some reason and now the momentum has died down for me so I don't really want to watch anymore but I do. Also I've started Good Girl Bad Blood and I'm on page 132. It's going well. I'm enjoying it. I don't think I'm in the reading mood to be honest. I'm literally forcing myself to read. On my Kindle, I've picked up Credence or Credence by Penelope Douglas. I'm on the first chapter. My arm's getting sore, so I'm gonna step. <laughs> five past nine and i have read quite a bit i'm on page 224 of good girl bad blood i'm over halfway i'm really enjoying it something really creepy happened for some reason my eyes started watering i was like yeah these characters every single one of them they're about to die it's so addictive this series it's so good and i'm really keen to know why this this character has disappeared now also for credence credence I literally can never say the same right. I'm on page 36. I'm thinking now the uncle's involved with this whole schmutz business, which I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Bad enough the cousins, but the uncle. I think it's a bit too much. I really love the setting. It's like a woods kind of vibe, and I really love that. The whole PS4 thing. I downloaded Netflix, but it told me it'll take 99 hours. I'm actually going to do some sprints now. I just wanted to update you before I did that.
had breakfast yet. I haven't washed my face. And I am 17 pages from finishing Good Girl Bad Blood. The stuff that has happened is absolutely crazy. I am really in my boots. The revealing of someone was so amazing. The thing that happened in this book, it's so real life. I can see this happening, but it just breaks my heart that someone had to go through something because of the circumstances, the, the people they were around, and how would that influence them. And I'm not gonna lie, the main character, she needs help now. She needs a lot of therapy. I finished the book and I think I'm gonna give a 4.5. So my final thoughts of this book is that the ending was actually devastatingly sad and the main character, Pip, needs a whole bunch of therapy. Holly Jackson has a way with words. I cannot wait to read the next book, which is coming out this year. But yeah, enjoyed it. I did it, I did it, I did it. I am so, so happy right now. I am so ecstatic. I got the Netflix working up in the attic. This is a whole mood right now. This is a vibe. I don't think I'm gonna leave the attic. I realized I can connect my phone internet to the, the, to the PS4 and I'm so, Fucking excited! Obviously this is up in the attic. The internet was terrible, which is what was the main thing I was struggling with. The internet wasn't working. I can watch YouTube up here. I can, I can play games. Oh my god! I don't even know how to tell you how happy I am right now. I am over the moon joyous. This is the, that's the, that's the PS4. We got the screen. I am so happy. I have now downloaded Fall Guys. I am so excited. I just found my old fiddle. I used to play the fiddle. I stopped it because I was shite. Exciting news, I'm joining a readathon. Luckily, this readathon starts today, the 1st of June. So, the readathon I think is called Whatever You Want a Thon. And I'm so excited. The whole month of June, you can read whatever you want. It's like competitive reading. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I get really competitive. I just do. It happens It happens to the best of us. So there's different teams. I've joined the epic and high team because it's fantasy. In my heart of hearts, I am a fantasy lover. I was looking at the other ones and I'm like, I kind of read everything to be fair. I'm so gassed too because I've obviously finished Good Girl Bad Blood even though it doesn't fit that fantasy prompt. But I still finished a book. I gave myself the goal of reading 8 books. Because on average I do read like five or six books a month and I didn't want to put ten because it's a lot more warm now. I don't want to be inside all the time reading. I kind of be, want to be out with my friends so that's I took that into consideration. So my progress on Credence, I read up to page 116. It's looking like it's an uncle son uh, situation happening. We're so possessive. This is one of the things I realized from Penelope Douglas. She has really possessive male characters. It's so extreme. Like she can't walk around the place without them being like, get back inside. Where are you guarded? Do you have weapons on you? It's, it's getting out of hand. So it's like seven o'clock right now in the evening. I literally had the best time upstairs in the attic. It's so vibes. I can't wait to have my friends over. It'll be epic. Jemima said a really interesting thing in her vlog. I'm still currently watching it. It's about being bored. We have so many stuff that helps us not be bored, like books, going outside. I agree. I disagree in that because we have so many, we luckily have so many um, resources available to us and we have so many choices. It's actually harder to pick something because let's say you can go reading outside, you can go on the TV, you can do yoga. You have so many of these things you are like, oh my God, I have I can do anything but for me anyways then I feel like I can't do anything because I have so many choices I can't pick one and then I'm bored and if that makes sense I choose to do nothing even though I can do everything because there's so much choice there it's some really psychology in-depth stuff that's going on I also really agree with what Jemima says it's really hard not to be bored but also choices
quarter past five right now and I'm very tired. I didn't go to sleep until like half twelve. Why? Why? There was no need, Sarah, to myself. It's my progress on credence, credence, whatever the fudge sticks it is, page 160. I've come to the conclusion it's all of them. She likes the uncle, one of the sons, and the other son. And the sons and the uncle like her in the non-family way. I have this feeling that she's going to get with each of them. But I know, I know one character that she likes the most, I think. That was all my reading updates. I'm going to have dinner now. Hello. We meet again. At quarter past five. Again. I am on page 260 of Credence and let me tell you gents, the smosh has happened. The smosh is just beginning. <laughs> Something was going to happen and I was like, I'm getting hot and steamy at 7 o'clock in the morning. That incident didn't happen and I was kind of sad about it. But then something else smutty happened. And sure, sure, the, this book has so much taboo topics in it. Gonna have dinner again. A variant of today is that I have concertina practice. Hello, how's it going? I feel like crying right now. Wow, that's a nice plant. I just had my concertina lesson and I feel like crying because my teacher was so fucking nice. She was so lovely. That's technically kind of our last lesson. Hopefully, I pass my exam. I'll be finished all my grades so I won't have to go to lessons anymore. Like, we have another lesson next week, more like for the discussion um, theory side of the exam, but she was just so lovely and she was just complimenting my my fucking creativity <laughs> when you're playing pieces oh look at me go and she says like i have like a different style i'm like what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean she's such an amazing teacher really grateful to have had her as a teacher i just need confidence in myself and my playing i say right now that i am good but I, in my heart of hearts, think I'm shit. But then it's like, Sarah, that makes no sense. Cause I mean, you're a grade eight. If you're shite, you wouldn't have passed grade one. Oh my God. Oh my God. She just, she just, why is my hand up here? <laughs> How are you? I have various thoughts right now on this book. I'm on page 276, I'm 57% of the way through. But right now, one of the characters is bordering on rapey. And there's this one scene that we don't know what happened. And maybe he's rapey and abusive. Then we pan to another scene where this character spits in her hair. Have you ever seen those TikToks where it's this dude, like macho guy, and there's this music in the background and they're like all aggressive, possessive, dominant male and they like spit at you and I totally get it. Some people like that. Me personally, no thanks. Someone did that to me, slapped right away. Fam, are you good? <laughs> I don't like this character. I feel like he's endgame. I need to start reading more lighthearted romances. That's all I have to say, this book is weird. I finished Credence by Penelope Douglas yesterday. I joined Sean Connolly's sprints yesterday and I read. I've ended up giving the book three stars because the ending was surprisingly satisfying. This book was so weird to me. I picked up Penelope Douglas's new book. It came out, I think on Thursday, last Thursday. It's called Trist Six Venom. It's a female, female bully romance and it's over 500 pages. For what? For what? Why is a romance over 500 pages? There's no need. What? It was on Kindle Unlimited and I just, I just pressed. I want to download. I'm still not reading a physical book. Oh my god, I still have to update my whatever you want on. I have to say that I finished another book. But I'm on track for that. Because I do have to read like two books a week. And I've done that so far. I am very excited because Tuesday it's my friend's birthday, but we're doing something on Monday. I have the house to myself, which feels amazing. And you know, you know shit's gonna go down. I don't know if I'll drink because I might have to drive or drop people and collect people. So I don't know if I'll drink. I think we have vodka. Let's do shots. Do I look good or what? Whoa. 
I'm either going to start that book, Triest Six Venom, or I'm going to go upstairs and watch Netflix or play some Fall Guys. I might do that. You never know. I'll, I'll update you anyways. I'll update you. Don't even hassle your shits. What? <laughs> past 11 and I'm getting so aggravated at this book and then I'm thinking about all the other books I read by Penelope Douglas. Thinking about now, I disliked all of them besides Birthday Girl. I've read up to page 70 of P.S. I Still Love You. It's the second book in the trilogy. I've watched all the movies. The second movie is probably my least favourite. I thought it was really, it was boring to me and I was skimming a lot of it. So hopefully the book is better. But so far it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. My progress on Trius 6 Venom. I'm on page 110. When I did that little clip yesterday of me saying I didn't like any book besides Birthday Girl. I can't even tell you how pissed off and aggravated I was getting. A scene in this book happened where one of the female characters was butt ass naked, the other female character got a sharpie out and circled every single like, bit of her body that she should be insecure about. So let's say her arms were too fat, her she didn't have a thigh gap so she circled that bit of her thigh and she wrote on her body which I think is the highest level of disrespect. From Penelope Douglas, I'm beginning to really dislike enemies to lovers. In this book, there is absolutely no reason at all to hate the other person. It's pissing me off. And then I was thinking about the other books. I think the first book I read from Penelope Douglas is Punk 57. And I'm not gonna lie, if I read that book now, I would equally dislike it, like I'm disliking this book. But I don't DNF books, so I'm not going to DNF it. I absolutely hate bullying in books. I absolutely hate it. I know what happens in, e in everyday occurrences. It happens all the time when characters project their past trauma or being bullied younger and then becoming the bully. And all that, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't sit well with me. I don't want to read about it. Like Birthday Girl it was the only book I liked because there wasn't this enemies to lovers sort of thing. It was her boyfriend's dad. There's at least one or two characters that are so possessive. And then I was thinking to myself, Sarah, why did you pick reading up Try Six Venom when you haven't liked her past books? The thing is, I really want to like her books. I picked this up because I was like, maybe this is the one. I was wrong. But then maybe I'm starting to not like Enemies to Lovers. Especially in these books by Penelope Douglas. I absolutely hate it when they hate this other character for no reason. For absolutely no reason at all. The more I think about it, the more annoyed I'm getting. It's so funny though because I'm 20% the way through that book, Try Six Venom, and this book. I'm doing really well on my weekly goals of what books I have to read. I logged in Create Credence, I finished it on the Whatever You Want on Tracker forum. Thinking about Penelope Douglas books is making me so annoyed. But then I was like, Sarah, stop thinking about it. I can't. It's in my head. It's living rent free in my head, unfortunately. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Peace out to the homies. Chillax, have a good Sunday.